Hi, I'm Alan Montague, and today we're going to be adding one more feature to our underwater scene. We'll be showing you a little bit about contrast and what the difference in the light and dark achieve in a painting. I'm going to mix, so let's take it a little bit of my magenta. I've already got my yellow out. What else do I want to put in there? Uh, I think I can probably work with most of this. Maybe a little bit of my burnt sienna would be kind of nice to do to show you. We're going to be doing coral showing you how that works, and I'll show you a little bit about how to make something underwater, like a little cave or a little outcropping. Uh, probably do that first. I'm just picking up with my flat one-inch brush that comes in your starter set, and I'm just going to pick up my paint, nothing but my Mars Black, and I'm going to decide, okay, where do I want this outcropping to be? So I'm just going to come right in here, using the corner of my brush, like this, since it's underwater, most of the time it's going to be a little bit ragged. You're going to have very few things that are going to be perfectly smooth. And that's the way it's going to be here, too. I think we're going to do that. Touch a little bit of my Mars Black to my Burnt Sienna to give me kind of a deep, warm brown. Touch more of my black. Come in here just like this. And I've got some of my growth already there. I'm going to cover part of it up. That's the thing about painting. Don't feel like if you cover something up that you've ruined your painting. You put it in and you sort of overkill it when you're putting it first in. And then that gives you sort of something to work from as you're starting to really kind of lay out and flesh out your painting a little bit. And then you've got something kind of nice behind it. And you put it in, but you've taken a little bit of it out. And if you left a little bit. Now I'm going to come right up under this little cave area here, a little outcropping and go a little bit dark and then let my light do its thing coming across that way and I'll show you real quickly about what to do with that. And this just gives you a nice contrast with everything that you've already got in your painting and brings a little bit of interest to the painting. All right, We've got all this area in here that you can see back way off into the distance of the painting and then you've got your deepest darkest areas close up and that gives you your contrast. So now you've got a perfect, a perfect place to do very quickly your uh, coral or whatever growth you want in it. Uh, you've got that nice deep dark background to work with and we're just going to take our paper towel and dry our brush a little bit and pick up a little bit maybe of our magenta. This is a nice color to work. You've got a good neutral background. So let's come in here and do some kind of interesting coral in here. It's kind of fun. Let it kind of come down a little bit. We're going to touch it to our Mars Black and kind of make it look like it's kind of trailing off over this little drop off here. And what I'm doing is, by adding this Mars Black, I'm giving it contrast to really make it jump out. I'm not losing all my color. There's still a very hint of the coral color coming down, just like this. Touch it just a little bit more, right down in here to bring it down. And that gives you a really strong contrast with your background. You can do that all over the thing if you want to and paint your whole painting and add different colors. We might take a little bit of our yellow and do the same thing. And this is just for demo purposes, just to show you the difference and the contrast and what you get by doing this. And I'm just using this little one inch brush, just using that corner of it. And then I'm going to do the same thing, take a little bit of this, pulling it right down just like that, touching it with a little bit of my Mars Black, knocking it down, put it in, take it out. But you see it's going right over the edge of this little, this little cliff and precipice. The only other thing that I think I'm going to do with this one for the contrast is to add a little bit of sunlight with my cadmium yellow, a little bit of my white. And this gives me just a hint of sunlight on these areas right here. And you can do them all, all over, but this is just how you do them. A little bit of light right in here where you've got your sunlight coming. You need to kind of light up this background just a little bit and let it just kind of drape over the side. Got a little bit right up there. 
and a little bit right in here on this edge. This shows you how to get a nice contrast, light next to dark, dark next to light. I'm Alan Montague. Look to see you next time. Y'all take care here.